I've heard that. I don't think that's particularly funny. Yes, I've heard it. Certainly he's going through all of these uh, Obama dog recipes they, they put out on Twitter. And uh, it, it just, it's making the li- libs just mad as hell. Yes, chicken poodle soup. Very funny. 800 282 2882. Conversational is across the fruit plain to the eye. Little Rush, little EIP Network up for another week of broadcast excellence. Yes, I. Baked Alaskan Malamute. Yes, I. Yes, I get. It is the one that James Toronto of the the Wall Street Journal put out there. He said, "What do you, what would you get if Obama put his dog in a carrier on top of his car and be called Meals on Wheels?" I don't think that stuff's funny. I don't think that's I, 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 the further thing is I find that people are missing. A great unifying moment. That's why I am here to bring America together. Of course, you know, uh, a few years ago, nominated for a Nobel Prize for all of my work here with the Little EIB Network. Uh, I, I have, there, there's a great chance here to bring America together, folks. You see, because uh, t- Ted Nugent started saying what he was saying, and they tried to close down on his First Amendment rights. I'll get to my, my First Amendment rights still, they're still trying to impede on those. And uh, by association, yours, folks, I'll get to that in a moment. But uh, everybody's all upset about Ted Nugent saying what he said, and then the, the, the Secret Service came and visited him, and no, no problem whatsoever. I, I think we've got a great unifying moment here. Ted Nugent, of course, great hunting advocate for a number of years. And Obama, apparently a great connoisseur of dogs. Why don't we bring the two of them together? Why don't we just have uh, Ted Nugent hunt the dogs and Obama can eat them? Well, you got another one, sir. See, I bring people together. I don't know what he likes. I don't know if he likes cockers or labs. I don't know what he likes, but all of a sudden... There you go, sir. Another black lab. Oh, see, they're going to they're gonna say I'm being racist. I'm going to say I'm being racist. Of course, if I said yellow lab, they'd say I, I was being uh, racist against Asians. I bring people together, folks. And the more people realize that, the better off they'll be. Now, this uh, campaign to get me off the radio, to uh, shut me up and, uh, by association, shut you up, it continues. One of the sponsors on this show, uh, Angie's List. This is where you can find people to do things around the house, I think. Is that what it is? Uh, Many people have been saying, well, Angie, why are you still involved with with, uh, the Lou Rush show? You got to boycott it. You got to get off of there. Man's uh, hate speech, misogyny, racism, and uh, et cetera, et cetera, all, all that other stuff. So... Angie's List has been telling him, hey, you go ahead and pound salt. I'm staying with this guy. This guy gets us customers. Boom. And we certainly uh, do appreciate here Angie's List at the Little EIB Network. Now, folks, I'm going to throw them a freebie. That's how I treat my sponsors. When they stick with me, I stick by them. This is a freebie for them right here on the Little EIB Network. Angie's List. Well, there are two items on Angie's List. Make Little Rush dinner and fillet Little Rush. That's it. (laughs) 